Imagine for one moment what our world would be like without colors. Choosing colors should not be a gamble. It should be a conscious decision. Colors have a meaning and a function. So I have this brown on my couch back home. Or like How can we make conscious and successful color decisions when there are millions of colors to choose between? Maybe if we start with this one. Your customer would like a kind of sky blue that matches a fabric they've already got. But what color is sky blue? And what kind of blue would work really well with the color of the fabric? How do we choose and communicate color? It's a mix between. Is there a shortcut to creating a color scheme for an excellent design? These are some of the reasons that we need a color language that everyone understands. This is why NCS, Natural Color System, was researched and developed. It describes every color we can perceive. Let's take a closer look at how it works. In the color circle, you'll find yellow, red, blue and green as the reference colors, or as they're scientifically described, the elementary colors. Let's take our sky blue color and define what we see. First, we need to define what kind of blue it is. We have to find which hue it belongs to. As you can see, a blue color can be greenish, blue only, or reddish. Our sky blue is slightly reddish. It's a blue with 10% redness and 90% blueness. The hue is called R90B, as we read things clockwise, from red to blue. A pure blue would be B only. Now that we know the hue of our color, we need to describe its nuance. All the colors in this triangle have the same hue, R90B, but differences in blackness, whiteness, and chromaticness. Our sky blue is not so black, only 20%, but it's quite strong or chromatic, 40%. This means that we have a color that has 20% of blackness and 40% of chromaticness. It's a red color with 90% blue, 2040 R90B. Now we can discuss this color and we can choose any color that exists and place it in this color space. This is the first important step in color design to understand the color you work with. From here, our intuitive color inspiration is becoming rational. Let's put theory into practice. We've probably all faced the challenge of finding colors that match. Of course, there are many ways to find color harmonies. One way is to combine colors that have something in common, for example, a similarity in hue or nuance. You can also match other factors, such as chromaticness, whiteness, and blackness. What happens if you want to use this color on an exterior? It's important to understand that the color you choose won't look the same when applied on a larger surface and in daylight. Our color will therefore look more whitish and more chromatic. This means that when choosing an exterior color, we need to pick a darker and less chromatic color. No one knows how to colorize your design better than you. Our intention is to offer you great tools for great color concepts. Visit ncscolor.com design.